Hey, this is George G. Welcome to George G's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? It's a nice sunny day. Well, when I show this, it may not be when I, when I post it, but it's nice. The room when it's sunny, everything can see better when the daylight's on the window, so I'm kind of in advance. But um, something a little bit different today. I was thinking about this. i um, trying to do, like I said, different things on the channel. And uh, I thought about um, bands or artists that I only think I need just one album by them and I'm, and I'm good. Um, so I picked out 11 albums. I'd only have one thing by them. And that's all I have. I don't have no greatest hits by them. I have um, just one album by them that I like. And I think that's all I need. Um, to say I think, because you never know. But pretty much I know. We'll see. The list goes out here where I think I think I still need if I need anything else. Or I don't think I need anything else. Or I'm pretty sure I'm good. But and these are all good albums. They're not albums I hate. Because if I didn't like them, I would, I, would, I would get rid of them. But they're all good albums. But... I think there's something different, so I do that. So like 11 albums, because it's just my little turn up to 11 series. You know, that's what I like doing. It's kind of silly, but you got to have some kind of tagline for something. Anyway, so I got 11 albums here. We're going to go through them. And like I said, they're not bad albums. I do like them. They're just not bands I want to really continue listening to because I don't like everything they have. I tried listening to other stuff, but just can't get into it. But first one is from 19... Uh, 76, and it's the only live one in this one. That's Franklin Comes Alive. And uh, and it's a good album. This is a famous album. It's made him put him on the map. And that's, you know, I got it because, you know, yeah, I, I figured, you know, well, it's good. And it's got good songs. And I, I mean, it's, it's got great stuff on it. Uh, Doobie Wise, is, you know, good. And All I Want is By Your Side. Baby, I Love Your Way. Of course, that's one of his famous ones he's done. Um, what do you call it? Do You Feel Like We Do, which is the. And this one, it's like a really long, fourteen minute, epic with the with the you know with the talk box and everything. But it's still a good album. I just don't you know anything else by him I listen to. I haven't been too thrilled with. And you know, and I'll be honest with you, I saw I actually saw Peter Frantham and live in two thousand nineteen, um, and he was really good. It was a really good show. I went with my wife. My wife won tickets, and I was like, okay, I'll go see Peter Frantham. Um, it's great live. I mean, he, he did a lot of humble, some humble pie stuff, which was really good, and his his famous songs. And he was he was it was a good show. I mean, it's the quietest show I've ever been to in my life at, at Madison Square Garden. Because to my wife, I'm like looking at her, I'm like you can hear a pin drop in here. It was so quiet. But that's actually one of the last uh, concerts I actually got to see. So I haven't seen a concert in 2019. The, that was Peter Frantham, and then two months later, I saw Cannibal Corpse. So there's two different bands to see together, but. Not together, but see it in, in a space of time. But those last two concerts with the Peter Frampton at the Garden, and I saw Crowded Corpse a couple months later. But that, that's just, you know, I'll get off topic here. But at Peter Frampton, that was one album. I don't think I need anything else by him. Next one um, is from 1995, and it's a good album. It's a double album. It's uh, from Smashing Pumpkins. The, uh, always put the Melancholy and the Infinite, Infinite Sadness. It's a good album. It's a double album. I'm not a huge fan of Past Smashing Pumpkins, but this album I do particularly like. I mean, it's got some excellent songs on here. Bullet for the Butterfly Wings, 1979. Um, Through the Eyes of, of Ruby. Um, you know, it's got some good songs on here. It's it's an ode to no one. It's got some good songs. It's really it's a good album, and that's just don't think anything else I need by them. It's just these are the ones I like, and Again, I'm, I'm gonna keep. I listen to a few albums I like, kind of like in this kind of genre, but it's a good one. So that's on there. That's I don't need anything else by that. The next one is from 1985, and it's Lee Iron, Metal Queen. It's a great cover, and it's a really good album. But everything else by her, I just don't really can't get into. But it's great. Metal Queen, Lady of the Darkest Night, Head Above Water, Shake It Up, Deceiver, Hold Out, Break Out. It gets good. It's a good, you know, hair metal y kind of album, and it is good. It's nothing else by it really it thrills me. But so I got this one. That's all I need. So that's that's that one there. Another one. This is from 2000, and this is kind of a, I guess, kind of a super group kind of deal. Um, it's got Jack Frost from the band um, from Seven Witches and a couple of things he's done, and the band is Metallium. And, uh, again, it's good. Good power metal. It's just, like, it doesn't... Everything else by them kind of sounds almost samey, and it's not, it doesn't throw me to death. But it's a good album I keep it because it's got good songs on it. I mean, I mean, Steel Avenger, um, Breakout, uh, uh, Stygian Flames, 
Prophecy, Eye of the Storm. It's got good songs on it. It's just like, it's all I need my because every album kind of sounds like this. Um, and again, it's okay when you look in the back. It's got the whole power metal thing and this whole look to them. It's a little strange, but it's a good album. But that's, that's good. That's all I need by them. And uh, so there you go. Next one is another kind of power metal, but this is um, a little different. It's power metal, kind of like, well, the band is called Narnia, and the band and the album is Awakening. And this is like, I just listened to it just the other day, get more familiar with it again, and it's basically Ingvay Malmsteen type music with like Striper lyrics, but not as good as Striper or as good as Ingvay. As but uh, that being said, it's got some good Break the Chains, No More Shadows from the Past, The Return of Aslan is a great um, instrumental, and Touch From You, like most of the album is good, it's, but that's all I need. It's a little bit, to me, I guess, I don't know about the religion, I got nothing against religion. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm a Catholic, you know, so I don't, you know, follow it too well, but, you know, so the religious, you know, mean something to me, but they're kind of sappy-ish in that way, you know, it doesn't really throw me to death, so... But it's a good album, and that's all I really need by the band. So, the next one is one of the new brave British metal, heavy metal guys, um, bands. And uh, I can't say what the year it is because it can't be that year that's re released. But anyway, you guys will know it. It's a good album, Jaguar Power Games, which is a good album. But I've heard other stuff by them, I didn't, wasn't thrilled with it. It's still a good album, not a great album, it's good. Dutch Connection, Not for Luck. Master Lies, No Lies, Run for Your Life, Prisoner. It's got it's acts crazy, some extra tracks on your war machine, Dirty Tricks. It's good. It's not a great one, but it's still good and uh, worth, you know, keeping for that. But the rest of the stuff, they put up a little more poppy, I guess, in later years, and not a big thrill of that. Another one is another kind of band out of my out of my genre thing. But I once again, I heard things about it again. It's like their heavier album. The more hard rocking album. And it's a good album, but everything else by me is not a thrill for me. And that is Sisters of Mercy, Vision Thing. Again, it's a good album. It's just not my kind of thing, but it's still good. It's kind of like the hard, hard, uh, almost like the cult when they're harder, but kind of like that. But more than, you know, but their style. Uh, but again, Vision Thing's a great song. Ribbons, uh, Detonation Boulevard, uh, When You Don't See Me, and Dr. G, they're really good songs. Can have a guitar in it. It's just, again, I don't need anything else by them. They're good. And uh, so that's why it's on there for that. Okay, guess one more to go here. The next one is maybe a surprise to some people, but because um, people really like this band, and I got nothing. I'm probably none of these bands are putting them down. They're not good bands. They just can't get into everything. Band, and that's all I need by them. They can't get into everything they have. And this is another one, and that is Ministry with uh, Psalm Nine. Um, and it's a good one. It's a very good. I like this one a lot. Um, the songs on here, well, hold on, let me get the song titles because it's on the inside here. And uh, NWO, Just One Fix is fantastic. Jesus Built My Hot Rod, uh, Psalm 69, Corrosion. Again, you know, it's a, it's a good album. I know people love this band, and I'm not putting the band down at all. It's just the only album I can get into by them. And uh, I do listen to this one actually quite a bit, though. So I tried other albums while I'm just getting to it, but, you know, it's not a band I'm into, but it's a good album, though. Uh, the next one is a classic rock band, and this one's um, pretty funny because it's only there's only two with this guy singing, and it's pretty famous, you know, rock band from the uh, '80s, and uh, and it's not even with their, their main singer, and it's R.R. Speedwagon riding the storm out. I always liked this one. This one I liked. I don't really care for the ones with with, with uh, Kevin uh, Cronin. I think his name is. I forget his name. Uh, but this one got it's just got a nice bluesy hard rock album. Ride the Storm Out, Whiskey Night, A Woman, Find My Fortune, Open Up, Son of a Poor Man, Starting the Life. It's it's a good hard rock album. I, like, I just don't know why I can't get into their, their popular stuff. Everyone loves them. And I got nothing against them. I want to think they can put them down. I just can't get into them. But this is the one I got. And it's, I think it's all I need by Ari Speedwagon. All right, the next two. Uh, we're actually, the next one will go with this one. And this one definitely is all I need. But I bought this one on a whim. And the thing about this band is they're such a. They're a goof band, but they really um, they really can play the music well. But they just, they'd be more serious to be better. But that's uh, Steel Panther, Feel the Steel. And it's a fun album. It's really it's really over the top. It's really goofy. Uh, Death to All But Metal, Asian Hooker, um, Eyes of the Panther, 
uh, <laughs> Fat Girl and Archie Blows. I mean, the, 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 the songs are just absolutely ridiculous. But if they actually were serious about it, they'd be a good band because they are a good band. They're very talented guys. And if they were just like serious about the music instead of being silly, I mean, and they have like so many albums out, but this is all I need. I mean, if it's all around like this, I don't really need anything with that. But this is a fun album once in a while. You don't put this on in the car with the windows down because, you know, someone's going to offended by it in these days. It's pretty offensive with the sexual overtones. But anyway, that's it. Another one, and that is my last one here. This one is one that I don't want to have by them. So far, I don't want to like by them. But this is all I want to think say maybe it'll change. And this is probably in my, for my collection, is the most evil sounding album ever I've ever had. <laughs> oh, and it's Hypocrisy. I'm not even going to try to say the name of the title of the album, but um, uh, Osculum ups, Upsetum. And this is some freaking heavy, heavy stuff. It just, I bought it for, for like, you know, a couple songs on here. And it's not that it's, it's good. I have it. I'm keeping it. But I know there's somebody that changed their, their music and I can't get too into it. This one I might explore the things, but for now I really don't know. But again, it's got some good songs on it. And they do a cover of Black Metal from Venom. It's good. Um, it's, it's 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 good. It's just like really, wow. It's just evil sounding. It really is evil sounding for for me. And I got to listen to some stuff. I got some you know. I have some other albums and stuff that are like death metal. This one seems to be really evil. But yeah, that's like I think only for now. I think it's the one I need by then. So anyway, that is the my eleven albums I think I only need by that band. I um, mean, if you know other albums by these bands, you say, well, maybe you'd like this. Maybe you should try these out. Let me know in the comments. So I mean, you know, I'm going to be wrong. But, um, so that's it. That's my video. I hope uh, you guys liked it. It's something different I'm trying to do. So anyway, till then, um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and keep rocking metal alive, guys. We'll see you next time.